Hey everyone, this is Vinny from Ari. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how we can reduce color bounce as well as color in our reflections using the V-Ray override material. So the scene I have here is kind of just a basic product shot where I have my product in the center of my image as well as a key light here and a fill light lighting my product. And then for the walls, I have this very saturated blue and this very saturated orange. And my chair is also this very saturated yellow color. Now, one issue that I'm dealing with in this scene here is because I have all of these saturated colors, they're all bouncing around the scene, creating this muted color on my product. So for example, you see here this bright yellow chair almost starts to become this kind of hazy green color as a result of the bounce color coming off the wall and the floor. Additionally, I'm seeing that my metal here, which is a chrome, is also getting a lot of colored reflection from our floor, and as a result is appearing to be this kind of orange metal color. So this is something you might like and might like how the colors become kind of this muted tone when they're all mixing together. However, you might want to show the colors of your scene very clearly. So we might want to clearly read that this is a bright yellow seat. And right now we're not really reading that. So what we can do to reduce kind of the bounce color from our wall floor and in these reflections here is use the V-Rite override material. So if I press M on my keyboard, you'll see I already have my wall and floor material plugged into a V-Ray override. Now you can drag this in either typing it in here or just right clicking and pulling it in that way. But the best way I think to talk about what the V-Ray override material does is just by demonstrating it. So I just have my wall color plugged into the base color of my V-Ray material. And what I'm gonna do is control shift drag my wall color down and change my blue color to say a red color here. Now what you see is that my image pretty much stays the same in terms of we have this blue wall, orange floor, and this yellow seat, but we're getting this huge red cast over our entire scene. Now the reason for this is because V-Ray is calculating the GI bounce or global illumination coming off this wall as this deep red color. It's no longer calculating just whatever this blue color is, it's now using this red material to calculate the GI. And I can change this color to whatever I want. I can change it to blue, uh, or maybe a deep green. Now this wall is casting a green GI color into our scene. So what the V-Ray override material allows us to do is keep this visual effect of our blue wall, but change how the GI reflect, refract, and shadow are calculated in the scene. So for example, I could plug in this to my reflect material. And let me change that back to this red color here. Now what you see instead of the scene reflecting this blue wall, it's now reflecting as though that were a red wall behind my chair. So this orange floor all of a sudden becomes this deeper red because it's now reflecting this blue wall as though it were red. And the same goes for this metal here. And if I plug this into my refract, you'll see the same thing. These polycarbonate legs are now acting as though there is a red wall that they're refracting through. And the shadow material, we're really not going to see that much. This affects how your object cast shadows into the scene and the wall and the floor um, aren't really casting shadows at all. The only thing casting shadows is our chair here. So obviously this kind of deep red effect is interesting. Um, however, it's not what we want because what we were trying to do is reduce kind of the blue cast that was happening on our seat, making it look like that muted green color. So let me just delete all these as well as delete my red material here and you'll see we're back to that kind of greenish yellow color. So what I can do to reduce the bounce coming off that blue wall is simply just reduce the saturation of my V-Ray color. So if I double click on my V-Ray color here and start dragging down my saturation and then I'll plug this right into my GI material as well as my reflect material you'll see now that we're not getting as much blue bounce light coming off of that wall. And our chair is looking much brighter yellow as before, where it was looking that kind of weird green color. Now, of course, you can customize this to be whatever you want just by changing the saturation of this. You could also change it to be whatever color you want if you wanted some kind of colored effect as I was demonstrating before. But I find this most often is simply reducing the saturation of that color to get less extreme effects. Now, you could use this on something like a wooden floor. If you have a very deep saturated wooden floor in your scene, that might create 
kind of a orange cast in your scene. And you can simply use this V-Ray override material to reduce that orange cast. Or if you say you have really bright cabinet colors or something like that, an example where you have a large object in your scene that's cast in colored light, you can use this V-Ray material override. So let's also do it again, um, this time reducing the orange light that we're seeing in these reflections here. So what I can do is shift and drag, sorry, I'll control shift drag. So shift drag is just gonna duplicate it and keep these nodes the same, but control shift drag is gonna duplicate the whole thing. And then I will plug this into my GI material. Actually, I'll plug it into my reflect first. And what I can do is just click on this orange color, which I have plugged into my coat color. So I'm using the new V-Ray 5 coat parameter in this material here to give it this glossy effect. And what I'll do is just reduce this coat color to something in the mid values here. And then what we'll start seeing is that these reflections become much less orange and more of this lighter color. And I can go all the way white if I wanted with this. Just so we're seeing less reflections. And I can also plug this into my GI if I wanted. And obviously you never have to do the same material twice um, in all of these objects. So I could add another one here and plug this into my GI and start reducing this color that way. You can see now we're clearly reading this as chrome and this yellow is reading a lot more clear. So again, if I were just to remove uh, all of these from my V-Ray override material, what you're gonna see is now we're back to that kind of deep muddy colors. And again, this might be something that you want for the scene. You know, this kind of contrast between the blue reflecting in the floor is, is pretty interesting. But in the case, in this case, we're aiming for product accuracy, which means we want the product to read as clearly as possible in terms of the colors that it is in terms of the material. So I'm just removing a lot of the color cast happening on that product here. And now we're reading it a lot more clearly. So again, if you're override material, I would definitely use it sparingly. It's not something that you always need to add into your scene. And it sometimes if you have too many of them, it can lead to some weird looking results. But it definitely works if you're trying to get accurate colors in your scene and removing extreme bounce light. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.